All right, good morning, everybody. We are back into fractions again. Get ready for lesson 101. Today, we're rounding mixed numbers, which is whole numbers with fractions. So, if a mixed number's fraction is equal or greater than a half, round the whole number up one. If the fraction is less than a half, leave the whole number as it is. So, for example, here we have 3 and 2 thirds. We're looking at the fraction, and we decided that 2 thirds is more than a half. So I round the whole number up to 4. Or over here, if I started with 3 and 1 third, here we decided 1 third is less than a half. So we just left it as 3. And just a bit of review here, how do you know if it's more than a half? Remember, first you have to think about what's half of the denominator. Here I have 5 twelfths, the denominator is 12, so 1 half of 12 is 6, right? And then you compare that to the numerator. I'm going to think half of 12 is 6. How does that compare to the numerator? Well, 5 is less than 6, so 5 twelfths is less than a half. So, to see if a fraction is more than a half, divide the denominator in half and compare it to the numerator. Let's start off right now. Half of 6 would be 3, right? Half of 3 would be 1 and a half. And half of 14 would be 7. So let's go and see how these guys all compare. If I'm going to compare 5 to half of the denominator, 5 is more than 3, right? So I can go and say that this is more than 1 half. Here we have the denominator of 3, and half of that was 1 and a half. How does that compare? 1 is less than 1 half, right? And lastly over here, we said half of 14 was 7. If we compare 7 to 1 7, we find out that it is exactly equal to 1 half, right? It's about that easy, and we've been going over this for a while. So let's use this to go and round some mixed numbers. So we have 5 and 3 6. Half a 6 is 3, right? Compare that to the numerator. 3 is equal to 3, equal to a half. And so if it's equal to or greater, we want to round up. So 5 and 3 6 or 5 and a half, we're going to round that guy up to 6. Round each mixed number to the nearest whole number, 4 and 3 eighths. Well, half of 8 is 4. Compare the numerator. This guy is less than a half, so I'm going to keep him rounded down as 4. 9 and 5 eighths. Half of 8 is 4. I compare that to the numerator. 5 is more than 4. So I'm going to round up to 10, right? Time for some story problems. Here we see JD had 6 and 2 fifths feet of rope. Estimate the length of rope he had by rounding to the nearest whole number. Half of 5 is 2 and a half, so 2 is less than two and a half, so I'm just going to keep this rounded down to six feet of rope. Kyle estimated the area of this rectangle as 45 square inches. Did Kyle make a reasonable estimate? You only have two ways of answering this question, either yes or no. But we don't want to just guess right now. Let's take a look at what the rounding would be. Half of 8 is 4. 7 is more than 4, so this is more than a half. So I'm going to think of this guy as 9 inches. 5 and a fourth. Half of 4 is 2. 
one is less than a half, so I'm going to keep him rounded as five. The estimated area would be length times the width, nine times five, and that would be 45 square inches, right? So back to the question at hand, did Kyle make a reasonable estimate? Why? Yes, I think he did make a very reasonable estimate because 9 times 5 is 45. Estimate the perimeter of a rectangle that's 15 and 1 eighth inches long and 10 and 3 fourths inches wide. So let's go and do the length first. 15 and 1 eighth. That's definitely closest to 15, right? And now 10 and 3 fourths, hopefully you know 3 fourths is going to be more than a half, so the width rounds up to 11, right? And it's a perimeter problem, so I have to go and add all sides here, right? And usually if I'm adding a pair of 15s, I like adding them first, because I know 15 plus 15 is 30. Plus 11 more makes 41. Plus another 11 makes 52, right? 30 plus 22 would give us 52 inches for the perimeter. Here we have to estimate the product of 9 and 4 fifths and 5 and 1 third. Well, 4 fifths is more than a half. Hopefully you see that. So I'm going to think of this guy as 10. 5 and a third. 1 third is less than a half. So I'm going to keep this as 5. And product means the answer when you multiply. So the estimated product would be simply 50. Estimate the difference of 36 and 5 eighths and 10 and 3 tenths. Well, 5 eighths, hopefully you know by now, that's more than a half. So I'm going to round 36 and 5 eighths up to 37. 10 and 3 tenths. 3 tenths is less than a half because half a 10 is 5. That's less than 5. So I'm just going to keep him rounded to 10. And it says you want to know the difference. That's the answer when you subtract. So I'm going to go 37 minus 10. And that's going to give us 27, isn't it? And that, my friends, is the end. It's about that simple, but you're probably going to want a piece of scratch paper and a pencil for the Socrative quiz. Good luck.